this is his original ad. The headline is, Man Seeks Woman, Just Looking for a Lady to Email to, New York, New York. Seeking pen pal, age 23, ethnicity Latino, religion prefer not to say. Hi, my name is Heather, and this is a story about how I met my fiance, Victor. We met because Heather answered my uh, pen pal ad which I posted on Yahoo Personals. This was back in 1999. I was looking um, for a pen pal, but I was looking for a pen pal that, that could actually write more than just two sentences. Description. As the ad says, I'd just like to exchange the written word, at least for now. Maybe if fate, destiny, and most importantly, our actions decide, we'll meet. So tell me about whatever makes you tick, and we'll take it from there. So, I wrote back to him, and I don't remember exactly the details, but we started emailing two or three emails a day for about two weeks, and finally we decided to have our first date. She told me, okay, I'll choose this place. It was the Cloister Cafe, Pine Street, between 2nd and 3rd, 5 o'clock. It is, no problem. I remember he was wearing a black leather jacket and blue jeans, and he was like really gorgeous, and I was so, so relieved. <laughs> because we hadn't sent any photos back and forth, we hadn't spoken on the phone, we arranged it all through email. The physical attraction was there, but the mind attraction was there from before, and, and I don't know, I wonder, had she not been attracted, I probably would have still found her attractive, because she was that kind of person. The course of events took us to the point of, okay, well, I need a place to live, I need a place to live. And I said to her, well, why don't we just move in together then? And it was April of 2000, just barely a year and two months since we had actually met. We were ready to commit at that point, at least in that sense, and we didn't really feel like we needed to be married because we felt that was sort of like, we had to prove, you know, our relationship to people when we really didn't need, we didn't need like a legally binding agreement to be together. And one day, and, and just, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, which is just like <laughs> February of 08. I was sitting in the bed, you know, tying my shoes or something, I don't know. I asked her, hey, why don't we just get married on a 10 year anniversary? I think that would make it our thing, our thing, because we want to celebrate our date. I was like, okay. <laughs> because my concern about getting married was always so silly. It was that we would have a different wedding date than our real anniversary, which we had celebrated for 10 years and people would be confused about that. Or like we'd meet people like next year and they'd be like, oh, you've been married just one year. And we're like, no, really, this is like year 11. <laughs> so we thought if we keep it on the exact day, then we'll always have the same anniversary and everybody else will recognize that as our anniversary.